It's Marco here from Fair Realty. As we shift from a seller's market to a buyer's market, you end up with a lot of anxious, uh, frustrated sellers uh, that don't understand why their property is not selling. And a lot of uh, sellers can't grasp the fact that maybe their price point is uh, too high for the new market realities. Uh, I have a friend in real estate. He's a managing broker of a large brokerage here in Victoria. He's been in real estate for a long time. Uh, uh, we both have a lot of experience and when we meet up for lunch a couple of times a year, uh, we always joke about uh, all the requests our sellers have uh, from us uh, when a property is not moving because both of us with a vast amount of experience know 98% of the time the root cause of a property not selling is the price point uh, is too high. So. What you see in a market like this is uh, first and foremost, a lot of uh, sellers are going to fire their listing agent and often sellers are firing very good, experienced, knowledgeable listing agents. But you have to blame someone when a property is not selling. So 10 years ago, used to be properties that I would list. I was the third, fourth. Once I listed a property in North Saanich, I was the fifth listing agent on that property. The seller just kept firing agents and slowly lowering the price. And then you just hoped you were the last agent uh, when it actually sold. So going forward, agents, you gotta be a bit careful about not taking on too many optimistic sellers because then you'll get fired, they'll list with someone else at a bit of a lower price who's gonna have a better chance of selling the property on the function of the lower price. The last two years, I haven't been fired once in the next two years, I'll probably be fired 10 to 15 times on listings. It's not like I wasn't doing my job uh, or won't be doing my job going forward, but I was doing my job the last two years. It's a simply a function of a slow market as you often get fired as the listing agent because you're the scapegoat as to why the property is not selling. Second one, open houses. Uh, during a slow market, uh, uh, sellers start asking for open houses open houses don't work. Let me give you a real life example. So during the pandemic, we had the health mandate where we weren't allowed for a while to do open houses at all. During those months where there was no open houses in Victoria, we had all time record highs for sales. So no open houses, all time record highs ever recorded for sales. Now we're at a 22 year low in sales. Everyone's doing open houses. How does that work? No open houses, record sales, a bunch of open houses, 22 year low. Guess what? Open houses don't work. The reason you see so many open houses now, properties sit on the market. The seller wants the listing agent to be doing something. The listing agent, he or she agrees to a bunch of open houses to make it seem like they're doing something, but really they're just hoping the seller drops their price at some point uh, so the property can sell. A lot of other factors uh, come into play in slower markets. For example, staging. Uh, staging, you know, I don't know really what to make of it. Uh, the staging industry will say in a slow market, would you rather spend uh, five to $10,000 on staging or would you rather drop the price 50,000? That being said, 10 years ago, you know, I remember once there was a condo in James Bay. It was staged for 10 months. They took out the staging, adjusted the price down a bit, and then it sold. So what really sold it? It was the price adjustment at the end of the day. So going forward, uh, it's going to be a bit of a different market uh, to operate in. And it's just, uh, I find it kind of interesting how many people don't grasp the fact that the root cause of the majority of properties not selling is the price. There's always some odd factors. Maybe the photos are horrible. Uh, maybe the listing agent, he or she's not answering any phone calls or booking appointments that are requested, etc. But that's pretty rare for the most part from what I experienced in my career uh, the price point uh, makes all the difference however sellers often don't want to accept that and look for other things that's it for this week Marco Juras Fair Realty